Is that what they're telling me to do? Well, that's not working very well. Oh, God. It Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah. There's got to be an easier way to do this. This is a disassembly of a Dell Inspiron 22 model 3263 series. Okay, that's weird. Um, <clears throat> well, before I begin, let, let me just make something real clear. This thing's huge, and uh, these can be a pain to get apart sometimes. In the event that this goes south, <laughs> I might have to get a wide-angle lens, so there may be a cut. As you see, uh, there's a big plastic thing you can just pry right up, and you've got to get this stand off before you do anything else. Now, the stand is hanging over the edge on my desk, so I'm going to loosen these screws first and get them out individually. So if I take that out, oh, look at that, the stand is still in there. Why is the stand still in there? Because there's a tab, a pair of tabs there. So. See those tabs? Isn't that cute? Ah, stand out of the way. Now, instantly, with these stupid all-in-ones, this is where things get painful. There appears to be a diagram here that says that you pull up on this while sticking your... You stick your thumb here and pull up on this? Is that what they're telling me to do? Well, that's not working very well. Oh, God. It Yeah, it's really hard. Yeah, there's got to be an easier way to do this. So, I'm going to take my pry tool. See that lovely thing? They're marketed as clay modeling tools. Yes, it's metal. That guy in the comments that always whines about metal pry tools, go ahead, whine your comment, boy. All right, so this thing wants me to pull up, but it'll probably be easier if I use my pry tool to get in there. And, oh yeah, that's what we need. Pop the clips with the pry tool. Don't pop the clips with your fingers. Like some kind of... Wimpy boy. Uh, come on now. Uh, okay. Look at that. It's the Dell approved way to do it. But some of those clips are very difficult. Alright. So in the end, it was a lot easier to get open than I thought. Also, this all-in-one has a two and a half inch hard drive. So putting this Mushkin Raw um, exclusively at Newegg, apparently, it's, it, there's something funny about raw egg. Raw egg. Alright, yeah, okay, moving on. Uh, real quick, just for fun, because I'm already in here and some of you will want to know. There's some screws here. This is almost certainly... Wait a minute. Is there anything under that? Somehow, I'm betting that that's not relevant. Actually, let's, let's see what's under these screws, though. I'm curious what's under these. This is what the stand went in. So, I think this is mostly structural. Yeah, there's just some wires under it. That's what I thought. Over here is the optical drive. Nothing really interesting there. But we will need to make absolutely sure we get these screws in nice and tight again. Probably should be using the bigger screwdriver. These are number two Phillips screws, not number ones. Yeah, let's get the bigger screwdriver in here. These need to be tight because they hold the whole computer up. Four screws are what stands between your computer and destruction. That or me just dropping screws. I mean, you know, I'm pretty good at that. So, yeah, the bigger screwdriver has a little bit of trouble, apparently. Uh, what's this? I got a weird message. What's this? What is this? Okay. It wasn't that weird after all. Customer sent me the barcode for the computer so I can look it up. That's actually ironically helpful. Alright. I read your post. Alright. Let's see. So, just for fun, let's rip this motherboard out. Here. Um, yeah, I'm finding the magnetics on this screwdriver to be very weak. So, I may actually switch back over, but I want to go ahead and crack this open, see what it looks like <clears throat> in the motherboard area. Since we're already in here, I'll probably reseat the RAM as well. 
and hope that that doesn't cause more problems, because that happens. Alright, let's see. Look at that. Look at that. Alright, it's pretty straightforward. Um, motherboard, you have a processor that can't be replaced. You have RAM here, one stick of 8 gig DDR3 low voltage. So that could be upgraded up to 16. This is a wireless, uh, looks like a M2 style PCI Express wireless card. If you don't need Wi-Fi, you, you might be able to put a small SSD there. Maybe one of those stolen Optane ones, but we're not going to do that. So that, that's a good overview of what's going on there. Let's go ahead and put this back. The sockets on the side actually grab this motherboard shell. So you have to put those sockets back down first. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get some screws going back in. All right. All right. There are four screws. It's actually uh, it's actually pretty nice only having four screws. I also just realized it's at the extreme end of what you can see and that the light is glaring really bad so I apologize if any of this looks a little bit difficult to follow but it's pretty easy actually to get in here and figure out where everything is especially if you have some experience doing this so to the solid state upgrade let's get this one screw uh, let's turn this down a bit I think it's a bit too glary this one screw right here holding the hard drive down just one and the hard drive should actually slide there it goes this cable pulls out it's one assembly as you can see there uh, now we have our caddy which is one screw here two screws here that's a little weird they could have cut a hole for a fourth screw but they did not and a number two Phillips doesn't work the only screws that are number one but they have heads big enough for number two that's just there's a lot of strange things going on here, and I'm not really sure what to think about them. All right. All right. All right. So. There we go. All right. And it actually just occurred to me I'm not supposed to put this 250 in um, unless I have no other choice. And it looks like I have no other choice. My order of 240s came in, but not my order of 120s. So I don't have the 120s, so this person's going to get an upgrade, and that's just the end of that. Better to put a bigger drive in than a smaller one, and the price difference is not huge, so I'm not exactly losing a bunch of money off of it. Uh, it's not like I can't charge them the extra $15, and uh, you know they may get better performance out of it in the end because of the extra space because that's how flash works up to a certain point you get parallelism which is a hard word to say without stumbling alright so SSD is in the caddy and we'll plug the wire back up before we install it again I keep hearing my phone vibrate so I'm really glad that I turned the notifications off I was uh, recording something immediately prior to this just a one-off quick discussion type video about YouTube's terms of service and my phone went off right as I started a sentence well you know we all make mistakes okay so SSDs installed wired up we reseated the RAM that probably could be blown out but I'll do it later you can do it through the vent all right or because this is a mechanics computer they could probably just do it so chances are pretty good that you'll need to put it over the ports over here first it kind of hooks in there and then uh, it's not snapping down is it well, I did what Dell told me oh man it takes a lot of force it takes a lot of force now if you're pushing this thing back together you need to either use a very broad like this a very broad push don't put too much force in any one spot you want to push very broadly so that it doesn't damage anything and if you still can't get the seams to go together you can squeeze the edges but 
I'd be careful about that. There's always a risk you can damage the LCD doing that if you do it wrong. This corner just flat out does not seem to want to... Yeah, and as soon as I complained about it, it snapped. All right, so it's good. So let's go ahead and put our big chonky stand right here. Come on, chonky stand. Get it in those tab slots and it holds itself in, which is nice. This actually, this is not too bad. As, as far as all-in-ones go, I probably would rather work on one of these than several of the other options I've seen. Uh, in particular, there's a Lenovo one that came in that I'm not looking forward to cracking open that has this awful, awful little uh, release mechanism that doesn't ever work. And then I actually did a video about when I got one brand new three or four years ago for a customer. Not looking forward to that Lenovo. But that's not a Lenovo. This this is not a Lenovo. This is a Dell. A Dell, what the, whatever the number was. And uh, then we'll put our guard back in place to hide the ugliness of the metal. Not that whatever they are Velcro attaching there isn't any less ugly. Uh, out of curiosity, let's look. One of the ports is damaged, and one of the ports is not. And these are super speed on the side, so that's pretty cool. All right, well, there you go. There's your hard to see because it's not flat on my bench. Dell Inspiron or whatever, da 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 da, da all in one. It, you know, thanks for watching. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, and if, if you leave a comment and you say the word banana, uh, on the next video, I will bleed banana blood in spirit. Thank you. Have a good one. Sponsorship links down below if you want to throw me a couple bucks. Take care.